One of the questions that you see a lot related to Magento 1 end of life uh, is related to um, uh, PCI compliance and whether a store that's on M1 is going to automatically be, you know, fail, fail PCI DSS compliance. And uh, I'm not a PCI expert or anything like that, but uh, so let me put that up front. But one of the things that in general you see pretty much anybody say when it comes to PCI compliance is it depends. And it seems that most things are, you know, relatively foggy. Um, I think that at the end of the day, if there are hundreds of thousands of M1 stores and uh, the number of hacks, I mean, look, the number of hacks, uh, security issues within the Magento world is already unacceptably high, right? Even with uh, Magento being, uh, you know, officially supported, right? And not past end of life. So, um, and that's the biggest, you know, uh, sort of uh, point of attack that competing vendors make. One of the biggest uh, points of uh, attack that competing vendors make. And I'm sure that the whatever uh, credit agencies look at, at PCI compliance officially are aware of that and see that it's an issue. So at the end of the day, if it's past end of life and, um, you know, the, the, the rate of, uh, of hacks is, is acceptable, I think that, you know, they're going to want to continue to accept that business. Um, also, you know, there is some precedent for uh, end of life software to be um, okay within an, within an organization uh, from a PCI perspective. One of the simplest ways to approach it is for that software to simply be out of scope for PCI compliance. So that's one approach is get your payment processing handled uh, by a third party um, so that your Magento site is completely out of scope. That's one simple solution. You should probably be doing that anyways. Even, even if you're on an officially supported version of Magento, you should probably be doing that anyways in most cases. Um, so that's one approach. And, and I'm pretty sure there's still, you know, ways that out of, uh, ways that even in scope software that's past end of life can be supported. I mean, if there's another party that comes up to provide some official support for Magento One, such as Nexus, I, I did a video about that, uh, that may end up happening, then, you know, maybe that's another uh, option. Um, so I think that, you know, if you want to be uh, uh, on the conservative side, then yeah, you probably would want to be, uh, you know, not on a piece of software that's past end of life. Um, at the same time, if you really want to be on the conservative side, again, you're probably, your Magento is completely out of scope to begin with. So it's kind of a, a moot point. Um, but I think that the argument that, uh, hey, if you're on M1, you're, out of, you're completely out of PCI compliance. I, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think that it's, it's a more nuanced situation and it's going to have to depend. And I think we'll see what happens. And when, as we hit the end of life, there'll probably be some precedents that are made um, with, uh, you know, this situation and we'll have to see how it, how it plays out. So um, anyway, that's what I think. Would love to hear any questions or comments on it.